The results of this survey are in sharp contrast to those that we saw in the last survey three months ago. That was set against the background of serious uncertainty about the Eurozone financial crisis and deepening gloom about the UK economy. This time round, sentiment has improved quite significantly, business volumes have picked up, and as a result, profitability has improved too. Firms would say that uh, the level of business is still below normal, but at least we're travelling in the right direction. We didn't see the sharp fall in employment that had been predicted in the course of the last survey. Employment is, if anything, expected to uh, increase slightly across the financial services sector over the course of the next couple of quarters. But we're only talking about five to 10,000 per quarter against a background of just over a million people in this sector. So we're not looking for a sharp pickup in employment. The main pressures are clearly that of the increase in regulation and the need for increased spending on regulation, particularly in IT systems and in specialist staff. That, I think, is very acute in both banking and insurance. We're also seeing some pressures, I think, in terms of early signs, but early signs only, of worries about whether we can get the right caliber of both managerial and clerical staff in some of the subsectors. I think for insurance, this is a result of the sheer technical difficulties that are facing the insurance sector in terms of the complexities of regulation, getting the right quality of staff. In banking, I think there's some early concern as to whether the, uh, the, the, the publicity that we see in banking is perhaps changing the balance of where new graduates and others want to work and whether uh, banking is still the first choice sector for many of our most gifted graduates.